You must be you must be quite a person to have your friend come in here today, just for moral support, right? So yeah, family, just cousin. Cousin? It's a cousin, yeah. Well, even better. Mm. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> you can't choose your relatives, you can choose your friends, you know? Mm -hmm. But for you to come in on this, it's just, uh, it's nice to see that. Close family unit to give support, you know. Cindy Maldonado. All right, who's Cindy? I'm here. Who's this? That's yo, my cousin, I Gladys. Thought, yo, I thought it was a lawyer. You're not a lawyer, right? <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm a banker. You're a banker? I am, yes. Oh, are you in the uh, loan department? Um, I'm a relationship manager, so it's a little different. Oh, Inspector Quinn, we should see on the good side of her, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, we can set I've up I've been told I could use some relationship advice. <laughs> 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 we can set up a desk for you right here, right? Yeah, I do so more of like the financial relationships, so it's a little more so complex. We'll set up a little desk for you right here, and those that can't afford the fine, Right, you can give they them. They can a, just go right give, over. Give them a loan. Say get right over there. Now, this you were operating a motor vehicle at midnight on Broad Street. Yes. And you didn't have the lights on. Why not? Well, I on my dashboard it says they were on. So in my head, and it was a well lit street. How about your eyes? <laughs> the, the street's pitch black in her head. In her head, the lights were. What are you doing? You're seeing things in I your know, head. I know, but it was a well lit street, so I thought they were on. And we're going to send you to a neurosurgeon. To check your head. <laughs> but yes. What, what do you do for a living? I am a CNA and I'm a student. Yeah. So where are you? Where are you a student? Uh, BCC in New Bedford. Okay. And uh, you came here today for what, for moral support? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> On uh, my day off. How about some financial support for her? <laughs> I can't help family, but if I could, I would. <laughs> <laughs> so you're driving a vehicle, and you don't know the lights are off. All right, now I want you, I want you to see this, right? Mm -hmm. Let's assume you're driving a vehicle right now. Do you know the lights are off? Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> On. Yes, they're on. <laughs> <laughs> what were you looking at? Who's in the and who was in the car with you? Uh, my friend. It was her birthday, actually. So we were going out for her birthday, and then her friend as well in the back seat. Oh, oh that's. You want to know what this is all about? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is in an area right where there are drinking establishments, right? Mm-hmm. So they're looking for drunken drivers. So they. Saw you with your lights not on. Mm -hmm. Figured maybe she's had too much to drink. So we'll stop the vehicle f for not having the headlights on, and that would be probable cause for stopping the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Now, did they give you a field sobriety test? No, they didn't. Okay, that means you were not slurring your words. Usually, if they'll stop a vehicle, they make a decision whether they're going to charge someone for drunken driving. They usually say, the motorist slurred his or her words. There's an odor of alcohol, right? We mm -hmm. asked the motorist to get out of the vehicle. The motorist was unsteady on his or her feet, right? Yeah. Uh, so all of those, none of those things happened to you? No. But you still didn't have the lights on. Yes, I didn't have the lights on. So Inspector Quinn, one of two things. Either she has a great eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We can get an ophthalmologist and, and have you be the symbol for that, for that <laughs> office, you know, that when you leave here, you can drive without the lights on at night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your, lights will, your eyes will be so great. And she was at the eye doctor judge, and they said, read the bottom line, and she went like this. She said, <laughs> made in USA. The doctor said, you're real set. <laughs> don't your lights go on automatically? No, they don't. Oh, you have I should get a car that turns them on automatically. Well, if you're going to keep drinking, I think maybe you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I think uh, she wouldn't have an issue trying to get a loan. <laughs> <laughs> we should set up some agreement. You sound like you're giving me some business over here. <laughs> Sign on the dotted line. Where? <laughs> where, where's that? <laughs> I'm going to give you a break on it. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I have... Uh, I have a, the abstract of your driving record from uh, Massachusetts. There's nothing on it, you know, so. We welcome you to Providence from New Bedford. Oh, well, thank you. You must, be, you must be quite a person to have your friend come in here today just for moral support, right? So yes. Family, just cousin. Cousin? It's a cousin, yeah. Well, even better. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know, because you, you can't choose your relatives, you can choose your friends, you know. Mm -hmm. But for you to come in on this, it's just, uh, it's nice to see that. Close family unit to give support, you know. Unfortunately, it's, in many cases, it's not what happens. Yeah. Now, if I find her a lot of money and she didn't have it, would you help her out with the money? I mean, we would have to discuss something. <laughs> oh. Set up some, like, payment agreements. But, yeah, I would help her out. Oh, you want some collateral. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is your collateral? Put her to work. <laughs> All right. Taking into consideration the totality of the circumstances here, this matter will be dismissed. Okay. Thank you, Anna. Your, your comments are spoken like a true banker, right? Thank we you. have to work out a deal. Yeah. Sign here on the dotted Absolutely. line. Absolutely. <laughs> Sign on the dotted line. Good luck. Thank you. Come on! How cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow! Your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtinprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge. Subscribe now.